girl T. Um, I just want to say welcome to my channel and thank you for watching another video. Um, the support is appreciated. Um, yeah, so it's November, guys. Well, the end of November. Um, and I'm just coming to you with a favorites. My favorites for November. Um, this year went by real fast. Like, I'm surprised. And the end of the year is going by even faster. The past two months, October, November, my kids' birthdays, um, they just turned seven and eight, big boys. And then my birthday is in January, and my fiance's birthday is in December. So we have a very busy end of the year, and that's also including Christmas. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so for my first two favorites for the month, I have been using this BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. love this um besides this one i also have this unknown brand i'm not sure who it's made by but it is also an 88 palette gorgeous colors Oop, as you can see um these two i use the most because they're the only two palettes that i have so far that are the, the color payout, the pigmentation is um, good. I have um, very deep skin, so it's very hard for me to find eyeshadows that go with my skin complexion. Um, back in the day, I normally only used to wear like shimmery, shimmery um, eye colors. Like this is just an example. You see how it's shiny? Those are the only ones that I used to wear. And then I started getting more into makeup and I started to try out different colors and different things, so on and so forth. But I couldn't find any eyeshadows that, that would pop on my eyes. And then I saw different videos on YouTube, watching other YouTubers about how they put on the concealer before they apply the um eyeshadow or the eyeshadow primer before they apply the eyeshadow and that helped a lot but um it still didn't show up as much as I wanted it to so I'm, I'm wondering if it's the quality of the product um like you could go out and buy those $50 makeup palettes and still have the same cheap results or you could go buy a cheap wet and wild makeup palette and the color payout is spectacular who knows i don't know but those are the shadows that i normally use and then one of my faves also right now is for bh cosmetics this um foundation and concealer 10 color palette it looks like this i use this thing every day i use it for you know, highlighting. I use it for my eyebrows when I do my eyebrows. Um, I use it every day. Um, also, I use my NYX or NYX, however anybody says it. Um, highlight and contour um pro palette. Um, it's powder, so like you know, everyone knows when you use cream, you have to set with powder. Or you could do vice versa. Whichever order you choose to do your makeup, it's fine. Whatever floats your boat. But this is the uh, palette that I use. As you can see, I use this color quite frequently. I'm touching the pan. I'm going to have to get another one. Or I wonder if they sell the pan separately. That would be nice. Just saying. Um, another item that I use quite frequently frequently is my um Mary Kay concealer in the color light bronze and this is life right here the consistency of this is like like I use LA girl pro concealer as well like I have a few of them I have this is the darkest color that I have I use it to contour with sometimes but um it's very thin I love 
um, LA girl um, pro concealer, but at the end of the day, um, I haven't been using this as often as I used to. Um, but I have been using this. Like this, this is life right here. Like Mary Kay. Mm. I'm just gonna say that. Um, so I continue. Um, I also use my. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 375 and 368. <clears throat> and last but not least, my Jordana Glow and Go Strobe Stick. This, this is what I use for my highlight. That is life right there too. It glows. Oh my god, I love it. Look at that glow. But anyways, um, I just wanted to come to you with a quick video so you guys know exactly what I've been using for my makeup. And once again, I say thank you for watching. Continue to watch me grow. And as I come to you guys with more videos, um, I look forward to doing them. Um, it's an exciting feeling to know that I'm, I'm actually doing this. I'm doing what I love to do. Um, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and comment. Any advice that you think, you know, anything you'd like to see me do, anything that you know whatever it could be just let me know thanks for watching bye